Hey guys, it's Luke Johnson from the Philosophy Teaching app Noetic. Um, boom, boom. Go uh, download it for your iPhone, your Droid, your brain if you're watching this in the year 4500 because we'll all be seamlessly uh, connected to every machine ever invented. Something I want to tell you about is that in creating the Noetic platform and the classes that are on the Noetic platform, I sometimes have to go to sort of the dark corners uh, of the internet to find things that will provide a richer educational experience for myself and help me with the lectures and the conversations that I produce. I recently discovered on this app called Internet Archive. Now, Internet Archive is not necessarily a teaching tool. Internet Archive is sort of a cache for just anything, like Grateful Dead shows recorded in like 1987 and like... I, I, I don't know. Anything that you could possibly have any conceivable interest in might be up there. It's, it's just acting as like this cash for like stuff. But if you wade through it and you know where to look, there are actually some pretty decent philosophy lectures, conversations that really you can't find anywhere else. And one of those things I found I'm going to tell you about today. I was able to find buried in the internet archive app a discussion with the Simone de Beauvoir and I'll revisit that in a second it's called Simone de Beauvoir in conversation with Studs Terkel narrated by Janet Dodson and I'll revisit that narrated by Janet Dodson thing in a second I'll try to include all this information below I don't know if they have links or whatever if you want to find this I recommend downloading the internet archive app and just putting in Simone de Beauvoir and searching till you find it this conversation is really great, okay? For starters, it's in English, all right? So Simone de Beauvoir is one of the greatest thinkers that has lived in modernity, and we benefit from the fact that she filmed and recorded lots of conversations that explicated her philosophical viewpoint. The problem is it's all in freaking French, and I don't speak it. So that's a big problem, um, but not this. This conversation was Studs Terkel, um, was really wonderful because it was in English and I could interact with Simone de Beauvoir more or less directly. So that was really wonderful. Second, it was really intimate. I believe it was recorded in her home and um, it allowed her to open up a good deal. And something she included in her own sort of biographical rendering of herself that I have not heard from other people who've tried to capture her biographical essence is the religious split between her mother and father. Her mother was a pretty devout Catholic, and what she let us, lets us know in this interview, and I didn't know this, is that her father was an atheist. And this tension set it up so that when Simone was a young girl, 12, 13, 14, she had some sort of religious breakdown and decided to be an atheist. And if you read The Ethics of Ambiguity, you can see how that profound experience um, affected everything she has to say in that text. And if you trace it back further, it comes down to the relationship between her mother and her father. And um, I think that's a really uh, enriching insight to have. There are lots of other really great things about this resource. I don't know. I mean, look, it's we don't get a lot of new material here. It's like a half hour interview. I think what the best thing about this is, is that you get to just marvel at a specter. You get to marvel at the ghost of an intellect that was. Could you imagine if we had YouTube videos and audio recordings of Socrates, of, of Kant, of Nietzsche, of Kierkegaard? You know, I don't care if they're reading the ingredients off a cereal box. The fact that I got to lay eyes on these philosophical historical figures and ears on them and kind of interact with their being in a way that isn't just what they distill on the paper is, um, I don't know, it's like, it's like going through an intellectual history museum. I don't, I don't quite know how to say what it is, but it's, it's something to marvel at. So maybe you won't learn a lot of new philosophical, philosophical concepts here. Um, but you get to appreciate the person that was, the person behind the thoughts. Um, and maybe you get to see them 
in a de-romanticized setting. Maybe you get to see them as flawed people. And I think the more research that I do on philosophers and stop thinking about them as sort of gods on high, but really as individuals who really aren't that different from ourselves, I think it's encouraging for other people to study philosophy and to produce works of philosophy and to teach philosophy. There's not so big a chasm between us and them. So I hope that's what you take away from it and that you enjoy it. Go find it on the Internet Archive. Listen to it. Enjoy it. And um, pair it with the courses that I'll be building and am building on Simone de Beauvoir for the Noetic app, which you should also download. All right, take care.